hello friends welcome back so in this quick video series i am going to talk about jsf java server faces we will talk about what is java server faces why why do we need java server faces we'll talk about life cycle we'll see some demo programs so basically we'll learn each and everything about java server faces not in this video but in the coming couple of videos okay but in this video i'm just going to give you an introduction just to make you aware of what is Java server faces and if you guys are already aware of you can skip this video and move to the next videos okay so that being said let's begin the video so what is Java server faces so Java server faces basically an MVC based it's an MVC web framework to develop user interface okay and this web framework is completely built on Java okay next thing it is component oriented when we say component oriented so basically jsf provides its own set of components when we say components the so components basically lay for example you have one screen so the components the, the what do you call it the fields or attributes on the screen like input text box your output text box your label your button your drop down box drop down list your checkbox or radio buttons so those things are known as components so JSF provides its own set of components to design the UI, okay, and it also supports events. We'll, we'll discuss what what do I mean by events, and it is the server side frameworks for web development, okay, based on MVC. We'll discuss what is MVC in this video very soon. The next is it supports it makes use of facelets. So facelets is like you can say another thing here in JSF which let you design a ui by creating some templates so don't worry guys we'll talk about facelets is one of the important feature of jsf in the next video not in this one but in the next video jsf works equally as well as a standalone so you can design a standalone application just by using jsf and you can make use of jsf with other things even you can make use of jsf with spring or with spring boot we'll see how in the coming videos this is very important jsf ui components and their states are represented on the server with the defined life cycle of the ui component so we'll talk about jsf life cycle here briefly and we'll talk about more about jsf life cycle in the next video jsf provides its components it helps to manage their states okay it also provides server side validations data conversion defining page navigation so when we say the sentence server side java framework so basically what do we mean by this jsf provides its own inbuilt set of validators or converters you can create custom ones also and those validators and conversions are executed at the server side not at the user end okay so jsf if i summarize what is jsf basically is used to generate a user interface second function of jsf is to respond to the user generated events so basically when you click on the page right it has server side listeners those listeners gets executed and decide what to do with the with the events either you can update the same interface or you can navigate the user to the some other page to other user interface so here the thing is very important jsf is part of a standard java jwe platform which means it is a built in it is built into any compliant java ee application server such as oracle sub logic glassfish jbos and yes it can also be used as a standalone library in servlet containers such as tomcat and jd so point is if you are using any web servers these like oracle web logic glassfish jbos if you are using these servers so these servers by default supports jsf in case if you are using containers or let containers like tomcat and jetty in that case you have to make use of standalone libraries to support json okay next is version so this is just for a if you guys are really interested you can go through it so the current version is jsf 2.3 which was released in 2017 so jsf ui component model so basically jsf as i told you earlier it provides its own set of library set of ui components like html input templates it has rendering capabilities it provides it support java beans server side helper classes it has validators event handlers navigation handler so we'll talk about each one in the demo section and application configuration resource for 
configuring application resources okay now let's talk about the jsf architecture as i told you earlier it's based on the mvc architecture so mvc is like model view controller model if you guys know it is something which carries the data to and from from ui to your controller view is the interface which is given to the user ui and control is the one which takes the input from the user from the ui and it computes the business logic it interacts with the model to face the data it computes the business logic business uh, logic and transfer the result back to the view okay let's talk about the features so jsf provides lots of features one is component based framework i told you earlier component means it has its own set of ui components ui elements it also makes use of facelet technology we will talk about facelet soon in the coming video it also supports expression languages it supports html5 you can make use like it's easy and rapid web development a perfect solution for that it supports support internationalization when i say internationalization it means you can design an application that can support multiple languages like your same application can be rendered in english can be rendered in french and can also support german it provides binary annotations it provides default exception handling it also supports template based approach when we say template is like you can create some certain templates and then you can invoke those templates on the other pages of your application it supports ajax and it also provides security so we'll talk about these features in the coming video one by one jsf lifecycle i'm not going to go in deep in this video to talk about the jsf lifecycle because i'm going to make a separate video on jsf lifecycle but for now just let's see the very first step is restore view so during this phase jsf build the component tree apply request values second phase so here jsf what it does is basically takes the input it it uh, binds the user input to the component element okay next is process validation so during this uh, phase jsf execute all the validators which are bind to the components update model values what it does jsf basically updates your bean values or bean attributes with the user input values fifth phase is invoke application so here your your uh, bean your jsf decides what to do with the process whether it can display it can render the output on the same page or it can navigate the user to the next screen so the text care here during the fifth phase last phase is render response so depending on the decision which made here during fifth phase jsf rendered the response either display the response on the same screen or navigate the user to the next screen okay so that's it about jsf guys it was a very quick video if you have any doubt if you have any doubt regarding anything just let me know in the comment section i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible thank you for watching